chief guest, Dr. Aida Rodinga, and all the other guests. When I assumed office in my first term as a member of parliament, I took over a constituency with little or no infrastructure projects, both in education, security, and other areas in our constituency. There was little or no coordination of the board of NGCDF, no known system where services of the constituency under CDF could be accessed. Within five years of my tenure, a total of over 40,000 bursaries were issued to students in secondary school, tertiary, and other institutions. Together, and with the support of the national government NGCDF, the local administration, and the community, we laid a found foundation in three short years. You will remember that your member of parliament was indisposed and short for the first year. I did not do any work. In the last year, we were doing election. So the achievements that we have made so far, these are achievements that we have done in three years of my first term. Our education infrastructure has grown in visibility with the Ruma Mix Secondary School being our flagship project. And I want to thank Madam Principal, Ukiwa Hapa, Pamojana, all the other principals of the other schools. When I asked you to sacrifice to allow me to do the four-story building at Ruma Mix Secondary School, I know that your heart and the heart of the other head teachers was very heavy. But I remember you people telling me, MP, we trust you. Build Huruma Mix Secondary School, Ukimaliza Ukuje Kwetu. Nana washukuru for the trust that you gave me, because now we are about to open that four-story building, Yahuruma Secondary, but nimewapea heshima, tukafungua hii darasa kuminanane ya Ndururuno. This is now the junior secondary of Ndururuno. Ladies and gentlemen, we are building similar classrooms for all the other eight primary schools. When we transition to CBC, I made a commitment na nikasema, all public primary schools will have a junior secondary similar to the one ile tumejengea the Ndururuno uh, primary. Na tulisema hiyo wakati, itafika ya Ndururuno, imefika haijafika. Kwa kiswahili wanasema ayawi ayawi, uwa. Sindio? Ayawi ayawi, uwa. Simekua leo. Asante ni sana. In the next five years, we have proposed to expand school infrastructure and our flagship project, as was said by the sub-county director of education, is to build an ultra-modern dormitory of 500-seater capacity. <laughs> Dr. Ida, this will interest you because in Madare constituency, there is only one public boarding facility and it is in the form of St. Teresa Secondary. So when the head teacher, when the head teacher, and I hear Mama Ida saying she has been there, I hope she will be there to open this, it will be finished this year. When the head teacher of St. Teresa School came to me, Mama Ida, she told me that they would like St. Teresa to become a sub-county school and eventually a national school. And the only reason why they cannot make that category is because there is a condition that you must have at least a boarding facility that is at least 500 to 1,000 capacity. Nikamwambia Madam Principal, this was December of 2021, the year before the election. Nikamwambia, before we finished 2023, mutakuwa na dormitory ya 500 seater capacity. I am happy to report that we have concluded the procurement and the award of tender of that dormitory and the groundbreaking will take place in the next two weeks so that our girls, our girls, 
in the only public facility where they can go to body. And mama is very passionate about mentorship. Our wasichana wetu watoke katika vijiji, iwe watoke kaile distraction, mambo ya madawa, mambo ya pia pressure, mambo ya pregnancy, wakai kwa dometi wasome uko. I know mama is very passionate about this. In the very same St. Teresa's, and which is the St. Teresa primary, I made a promise during the election that we will partner with the county and school for education foundation to do free feeding program for our children. Mama, I would like to report to you and Madare constituency kwamba tumemaliza tendering ya kufanya an ultra modern kitchen. A kitchen that will feed over 10,000 students wa Madare wao wanapata chakula almost for free. Unanisikia vizuri? Kwa saa hii, kwa saa hii and I would like I would like us to let mama free so that we get her attention here. Dr. Aida, our parents na wameka hapa. They spend on average about 70 shillings per day kupeleka watoto shule wakule. Ni kweli si kweli? With the completion of this modern kitchen, how our watoto and with the help of the Nairobi County and School Feeding Program International, watoto watakuwa wakitoa through their parents only 5 shillings. Na wamepata lunch kila siku. Your kitchen, the groundbreaking will be done in the next two to three weeks. We have also purposed to do 12 classrooms at Daima Primary. Na hiyo Daima Primary, that will be the beginning of the junior secondary baada hiyo, tutawaongeza darasa zingine tena kuminambili. Ninajua watu wa mabatini, niko na deni enyu. Ni kweli siyo kweli? Ni kweli siyo kweli? Mama, Mabatini is the only ward in this constituency that does not have a public primary school and does not have a public secondary school. Kwa hii, proposal yetu, yeah, this financial year, and the chairman is here, we are beginning a new school from scratch from Mabatini in Anzia Primary. That school will be done so that we are able to have the children of Mabatini not walking for a kilometer or two to be able to access a primary or a secondary school. Here to Tatimiza. Yamwisho kwa area ya education. Iko kitu inaitua technical vocational training. E technical vocational training, we have already partnered with the Ministry of Education, na TTI, and we are building with the partnership of the national government wakiweka milioni tisini 90 million CDF is putting 10 million and we are building a hundred million tivet ya vijana wetu kuenda pale wajifundishe plumbing wajifundishe tailoring wajifundishe mechanic wajifundishe carpentry na wakimaliza tunawatafutia vifaa vya kufanya kazi unanisikia vizuri as I conclude, on the area of education, on security, and the OCS was here, I was hoping that the OCS will mention that when I entered here in 2017, Uruma police station haikuwa at an offense. Sidio? Now there is a perimeter wall around that fence. Sidio? Uruma police station ilikuwa inaitua Uruma post. I have completed and they have occupied a modern block ya Huruma station that now even the OCPD anataka kuhama kasarani akuje hapa madari. Unanisikia vizuri? In 2018, Madam DC, they were your predecessors, Madam DC. Wakati lilikuja madare, all the services za serikali watu walikuwa naenda nyayo house. Iwe ni ID, Iwe ni eh, mambo ya social, juzi tulikuwa tunandika elderly people wawe conscripted na disabled wawe wanapewa pesa. Ingekuwa sio hiyo, building limejenga na CDF, where we have the DC house there, we have the registrar of ID there, 
We have the children's officer there. We have the youth officer there. And even CDF is there. All the services of government are now accessible when you're building to Litengeneza na CDF. So, kuna mengi tutafanya na nimeulizwa kwamba our chiefs and Madam DC, this will interest you. Before these five years are over, nitatengeneza offices a chief katika every ward and I'm beginning with Mlango Kubwa this financial year. In the next three months, tutakuwa tumetengeneza ofisi ya chief. Wakati tunatengeneza Tivet Hospital Ward, itakuwa inapakana na ofisi pale ya, ya chief. So ningependa kuachia hapo na master of ceremony kama tuko na mziki, uweke kidogo so that I try and look at the protocol ya mambo ya mziki. Tuone kama tuneza kupata microphone. If not, then we will have to allow mama to speak. Hii munaeza kusikia? Munaeza kusikia?